Johnny Matthews knew he would be leaving behind his beloved Modesto A&W restaurant soon, but he never thought this would be why. Owner of the historic downtown Modesto drive-in burger joint will close the site at G and 14th Streets by November 22 after 66 years of continuous operation. In the end, it wasn't inflation or staffing or diner disinterest that took him down. Instead, the restaurant, which has become a landmark in the region, is closing because of an Americans with Disabilities Act lawsuit filed against the property last month. The a w site known for its big burgers, roller skating car hops, and American graffiti air ambience has been a part of the city since it opened on the spot as a food stand in 1957. The restaurant still attracts a loyal crowd and holds its popular nostalgia-filled Friday night cruise-ins every summer, complete with Elvis impersonators. Matthews, who owns the building and business with his wife, Tammy, already had planned to retire and sell both this year, preferably to someone who would continue its legacy as an a w franchise, but they had hoped to continue operating the restaurant until the sale was finalized. Now they will shutter abruptly by 4 p.m. Wednesday, instead of trying to fight the ADA lawsuit as they continue to work on a sales deal. You think of the hundreds of thousands of people who have visited the restaurant over all these years, and it's never been an issue, said Johnny Matthews, 75, who took over ownership of the site in 1996. It's the law, but it's a stupid law to allow these complaints to get rewarded over and over and. The plaintiff has filed multiple ADA lawsuits across Stanislaus County. The plaintiff in the a w lawsuit is 81-year-old Modesto resident Lee Dozier, who has filed 15 ADA lawsuits against property owners in Stanislaus County in the past 13 months, all using the same Newport Beach-based law firm. Besides the Matthewses and their a w restaurant, Dozier has filed ADA suits against building owners of national and local businesses in Modesto, mostly alleging inaccessible or inadequate disabled parking access in addition to some other violation. The downtown A&W does not have any posted or dedicated accessible parking spots, as are required by state and federal law. ADA was passed in 1990 as historic federal civil rights legislation that prohibits discrimination based on disability. The public accommodations requirements of the law guarantee access to ensure those with any disabilities can enter and enjoy businesses and services ordered to the general population. But in California, ADA lawsuits have become something of a cash cow for some serial filers who look for properties with violations and then file lawsuits asking for damages. Issue has arisen again and again across the Central Valley, even after the legislature, aiming to prevent abuses, made some changes to existing law. The Modesto Bee has extensively covered the waves of ADA lawsuits filed across the region over the years. That includes the suit that shut down the long-running Barnwood restaurant in Ripon, which since 1978 had been a high-profile presence just off Highway 99. But after its owners were hit with an ADA lawsuit by a different serial filer in 2014, it closed for good. The site has since been bulldozed and redeveloped as a drive through Starbucks. The suit against the Matthews alleges that on a visit to the A&W on September 29 of this year, Dozier went to purchase a delicious float, but he found the property does not provide any accessible parking whatsoever. Dozier, whom characterizes himself as disabled and caretaker for his disabled wife, said he has suffered and continues to suffer violations of his civil rights to full and equal enjoyment of goods, services, facilities, and privileges, and has suffered and will suffer embarrassment and humiliation. Dozier is seeking $25,000 in damages, attorney and court fees and expenses, and any other relief that the court deems appropriate. A Matthews has said that since the lawsuit was filed October 10, they have received a potential settlement offer for $23,000 from the plaintiff's counsel. The attorney behind suits used to defend small businesses in court. Calls to phone numbers associated with Dozier's residence were not answered. Calls requesting comment from Dozier's attorney Rick Morin, who has offices in Newport Beach and Sacramento, also were not returned. A representative at his Newport Beach office said he would not be available for comment but Morin has spoken with the B in the past. Indeed, about a decade ago, Morin was a champion for small businesses and specialized in fighting ADA lawsuits. He was quoted in multiple articles over the years in this role, and in 2017 told the B, there is too much money to be made. They're not going to stop suing. 
Mooring's law office's website still lists ADA lawsuit defense as one of his primary areas of specialization and touts his work as a tireless advocate against frivolous ADA lawsuits who will defend against these shakedown lawsuits and advise you on compliance measures to avoid litigation. Since October 22, Mooring's office has filled a series of lawsuits on behalf of Dozier, alleging violations at Modesto Properties. Of the 15 lawsuits, seven were voluntarily dismissed, which typically means a private monetary settlement was reached between the parties. The six open lawsuits include the property owners of Modesto's two Wiener Schnitzel hot dog locations, a Del Taco on Standiford Avenue, USA Tiger and Wheel Dealers Inc., on Prescott Road and California Rehabilitation on Spires Way. The lawsuits filed by Dozier share striking similar language and all allege parking access violation. The majority of the open suits are seeking $25,000 in damages in addition to other fees. Johnny Matthews said that while installing accessible parking spaces would be a relatively easy fix if a and w remained open, the plaintiff still could be eligible for damages in court. Considering the age of the building, he said he also would fear additional lawsuits alleging other ADA code violation. Instead, the couple have resigned themselves to closing. They will continue service until Wednesday afternoon, after which they'll hold a private party for their six employees. Among them are General Manager Jennifer Ishman and Assistant General Manager Julie Hale. The two sisters have more than a quarter century of employment at the drive in predating the Matthews' ownership. We have many customers and friends who are disabled, who we have been serving for years, Hale said. We've always gone out of our way to provide service to Valley customers flock to Modesto Drive-In for final meals and goodbyes. Since the Matthews's announced the restaurant's impending closure about a week ago, the dining room and parking lot have overflowed with a constant stream of customers coming in for one last Papa Burger or Coney Dog or look at all the Modesto and graffiti memorabilia. Last week, the restaurant even hosted a wedding, which wasn't the only nuptials held there over the years, another sign of the community's enduring affinity for the modest burger shack. Among those who've stopped in for a goodbye meal are cousins Linda Medlin and Diana Berktold, both 71-year-old Modesto natives. They started coming to the ANW with their families when they were kids. We used to come to get root beer floats, that was the big thing to do when it was hot outside in those days, Berktold said.